welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making mochiko chicken. And mochiko chicken is very popular here in Hawaii. First, we're going to start off with the mochiko flour. This is four tablespoons and you can buy this at any Asian grocery store. The next thing we're going to be adding is cornstarch. This is four tablespoons of cornstarch. After that, we're going to be adding two eggs to the mix. Mochiko chicken is a little bit on the sweet side, so we're also going to be adding sugar. This is four tablespoons of sugar that we're going to add. We're also going to be adding four tablespoons of shoyu or soy sauce. And the last thing that we're going to be adding is some salt. This is about a half teaspoon of salt. What we want to do is we want to mix all of this together so that it's all completely combined. What we want it to look like is something like this at the end. So that is our marinade. And what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some other ingredients to this. And the first thing you are going to add is green onions. What I've done is I've chopped them really small. We're going to add that in there. And we're also going to add some roasted sesame seeds. That's about a tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. And we're going to mix that all together. And then we're going to be adding our chicken. Now, I like to use thighs for this dish because it's a little bit juicier, it's a little bit tastier, and it holds on to the marinade a little bit better. What I have done is I have cut them into tiny little bite-sized pieces and I'm now putting them in the marinade. What you want to do is you want to mix it up really well to make sure that the chicken is completely soaked. I forgot to add the garlic. so. We're adding about two cloves of garlic to this marinade and I'm mixing it in after the fact. However, if you do mix it in before, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to work with. But after that, what you need to do is you need to get cling wrap and you need to cover up your chicken in the marinade and you need to put it in a refrigerator and marinate it for about an hour to two hours. A lot of people like to marinate it overnight, which is what I did. So the next day, you want to bring a pot of oil up to a boil and then you're going to be adding our chicken. As you can see, I'm not really adding that much of the marinade on the chicken, but the more marinade that you add on the pieces of chicken as you're starting to fry them, the better the coating will be on the mochiko chicken. So this is not a really good example, but you should actually put more. Anyway. So you want to fry it on one side until they're golden brown and then you want to turn it over. As you can see, these have a little bit more of the marinade on them and so you can get that nice coating, that nice crispy coating. So when they are done, we are going to be taking them out. You can see right here, that piece is done. We're going to be taking it out and we're going to be putting it on a paper piece of paper towel in order for it to drain. When you are done, you can plate the chicken and you can add green onions and some roasted sesame seeds on the top. And there you have it, your mochiko chicken. Thanks so much for watching.